I remember listening to this on Star 104 and I freaked the heck out. I was like, she made it. She's on the radio. I'm not a loser that just listens to Disney Channel. It's on Star 104, bitch. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Tere, and welcome to the series of Reliving My Childhood. Over 50% of you said Miley Cyrus, so Miley Cyrus won. I am going to start at the very beginning of when I heard the first Miley Cyrus, which was on Hannah Montana. Out of my way, old man. Hello? Listen, I really need to keep this line open. I promise I'll save the dolphins tomorrow. Oh, bye bye. No, I'm not going to do the Hannah Montana part. I'm going to do the Meet Miley Cyrus part. This is gonna be a blast from the past. I don't remember all that much. I miss you. I don't remember. Clear. Uh, good and Broken, I remember a little bit. Start all over, I obviously remember. Uh, as I am, not ringing a bell. Let's dance, not ringing a bell at all. Uh, Girls Night Out, not ringing a bell. Like, some of these songs I don't remember. Obviously, See You Again. Obviously, Start All Over. Right here, I think I remember clearly, because that used to be my jam. Other than that, mm, we're, we're just gonna go down memory lane and see what happens. But first, like this video and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. Let's meet young Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I remember listening to this on Star 104 and I freaked the heck out. I was like, she made it. She's on the radio. I'm not a loser that just listens to Disney Channel. It's on Star 104, bitch. I can't wait to see you again. Gotta get the shimmy in there. I feel like I'm busting on you in another life. I gotta look up these lyrics now. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> mm, I feel like I must have known you, must I have known you in another life. Obviously, I was saying those lyrics wrong. Um. <laughs> She just being my niece. Who's Leslie? Did we ever figure out who Leslie was? Huh. Jake Ryan was named Leslie? But wasn't this before he was on the show? Who's Leslie? Let a girl know down in the comment section who the heck is Leslie because I've never heard of Miley Cyrus having a friend named Leslie. Who the hell is Leslie? <laughs> a great song now I look back on it and I was like why was I so impressed a little bit but like still a part of my childhood <laughs> always be there oh I remember dancing in my room to this stuff I was like mom I need this album which I did have this album I did I got it for Christmas you know why because I literally had all Disney manias Demi Lovato Miley Cyrus and High School Musical all on my list and I was like, pick one. I don't care which one you give me, just pick one. <laughs> it was great. My parents loved it. Nailed it. North Northumberland High. East Northumberland High. Does this have something to do with like her childhood? I'm just gonna type it into Google. Hold on. Hey, let a girl know if this actually is a part of Miley Cyrus's life or not. Does East North If I stumble on this title, East Northumberland High have some significance to Miley Cyrus's life. Oh, it's just gonna bother me. It's just gonna bother the heck out of me. I 
dancing this song around my living room as well because like this had like that that rock in it and I was like <sighs> I feel like she's not even using her like actual voice in this song just because I liked you back then doesn't mean I like you now did you really like this song? I, I just... Mm. You're my type of guy, I, guess I remember actually liking this part at the towards the end. I was like... Because it just had that stompingness to it. And I was like... I do not like that track now. <laughs> I don't, I don't like it. And it's probably because now it doesn't sound as powerful as, as it did for my young mind. Because when I was a little kid, it was a bop. Now I look back at it and I'm like, is she even, like, I know how great Miley Cyrus's voice was. This doesn't even sound like she's trying. <laughs> she's just like, does it good, I like it back then. Doesn't mean I like it now. <laughs> ooh, ooh, we unhearten it. <laughs> I have all of these hearted in my playlist because like it was my childhood but like now that I'm older it doesn't hit as powerful as it did. I think I like the song because I, I'm reminiscent of the song. Not because I actually like it right now. <laughs> Oof. Nailed it. I don't even remember this one at all. I don't. The weekend's almost done. The moon is low and I dance. What in the Cheetah Girls? I dance. Amigas, cheetahs, friends for life. And I like the boob. There's no bass or boob in this song. Ha! Age, where you at this time? You don't need to be dancing with nobody. <laughs> Did I just turn into Billy Ray Cyrus? <laughs> to keep moving and I am not moving whatsoever um let me just uh I'm not gonna listen to Russell um it's like a PG version of Britney Spears or Gwen Stefani <laughs> let's just be honest here like ah so cringy we're not hearting that I'm unhearting it ah no I don't oh oh nailed it I don't remember this either Gino, let's go, Gino. Let's go, Geico. Like I, <laughs> I remember. Why is even a boy there? It's a girls' night out. So weird to me how little kids can have like these interaction with boys. Boys, go away. <laughs> you guys are like going to the arcade or something. Like, like Chuck E. Cheese, like calm down. <laughs> he just gives you a ring pop. <laughs> I, I can't even last that song. No. No, thank you. We're not. <laughs> Did she write any of those songs? Yeah, she wrote See You Again. Let's Dance. Did you write that song? Wow, she actually did. Let's Dance. Did you write Girls Night Out? No, it just said, it doesn't say anything. That's weird that she wrote Let's Dance. I didn't know that. 
I guess it, it, it makes kind of sense just because she's so versatile in herself, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't have pegged that. I, I see you again. I know she wrote, but like, let's dance? Really? Interesting. Interesting. And still not my favorite, but interesting. Nailed it. Right here, right here is one of my songs. Shall we go down? Did she write this one? Yes, she did. Right here, I still remember it. Oh my gosh. Be with me. killed me as a child like all you gotta do is turn around and look inside i'm right here chills up my balti <laughs> oh, that song it kills me every single time oh turn around close your eyes look inside i'm right here wrote that good hey montana get out the way my favorite remain in the heart Ugh. nailed it i don't remember i won't be much fun tonight and i can't believe remember it now i remember You know what this is reminding me of? When she said pieces, it reminded me of pieces by um Simpson. It's Ashley Simpson. The pieces, pieces, pieces of me. Hmm. Interesting. 2004. So it could have been. Right? Oh, Like this I don't like this part in the song I would like the chorus we're gonna go back to the chorus I don't like this part of the song like I love these songs just because these songs I resonated more than like let's dance or East they're fumbling high I loved it when she was actually being real and like raw as I am is not like a bop bop. It's not like right here, but like I'll damn to it if it comes on radio. Right, you know. Nailed it. I've always said I've wanted Miley Cyrus to make a rock album because like it would be fire and start all over was me. Like I always wanted either I thought Demi Lovato was gonna stay in the rock category, so it, it gave me hope when I started hearing like Miley Cyrus going to rock, and then Demi Lovato going to rock, and then they all just went pop. The background is there's like a what is that I never noticed that before in the background it sounds like a whistling that's happening word one thing I did notice is like see you again um right here as I am start all over she's actually using her voice I felt like 
like start all of like you know that she's using her like full voice and like oh, start all over the hear that whistling now and it's bothering me take it out what is it doing there how did like what write it oh she didn't interesting i wonder if she liked the sound of it more though i feel like she liked the sound of it Oh, and I love that music video because it went all the way back to the beginning of the music. <laughs> I used to think that was so rad back in the day. I also think that's a very good lyric for Miley Cyrus' career. I'm in the fire and then I'm out of the fire again and then I'm putting back in the fire and then I'm out of the fire again. Definitely a good base to start a singer off. Like, I definitely feel like Star All Over was that pivotal moment where Miley Cyrus isn't just Hannah Montana. Miley Cyrus can actually sing any song you give her. It was good. It was... <laughs> Nailed it! Do I remember this? I don't think so. feel to it mm. okay maybe this album was definitely a way to like showcase all her talents because we have dancey in there we have pop music in there we have a little rock in there we have a little reggae in there we have a little singer songwriter mm. of all these genres <laughs> Let's get right into Good and Broken because I don't even know if I remember this song all that well. Be talking about me because my life is imploding. song that would be on breakout her next album can i admire how young she is during this and that she is still like producing hits <laughs> if we go back to when i was writing songs from my childhood they'd be like oh spilled milk like <laughs> like this is actually really impressive <laughs> Like, the most things that I'm actually impressed by that song is, like, her vocal control in this at the end. And again, going back to her age, it tells a lot. And also, to write a song about good and broken, like, at in 2007, at your age. Like, what, bro, just to have that um, insight into yourself that even though 
um, I might be going through like a tough time right now, I still have the motivation to get through it. And it's like, at your age, like, I gave that one a heart. Obviously. I don't think of the first time I listened to it, I gave it a heart. But like, I'm giving it a heart. Nailed it. I think she wrote this about a family member that died. I remember it being on Disney and I feel like I'm gonna get it more now that I experienced death in the family. Um, so this, bear with me. Just the way she pronounces it, I, I never wanted you to leave. I wanted you to stay here holding me. Like you can tell she still has her country kind of twang. Again, just with her knowledge of being so aware that like when someone dies and especially when your life is going this way of improving and they don't get to see it of just being like it's it it hurts you inside because you're getting better and your life is getting better for you but this person will never see it and this person may never know hopefully there is like an afterlife or a heaven where they can look down and see us but in a sense of maybe you believe that way maybe you believe that people just die but that they are here some way somehow and that they're seeing you progress in your life um and again just having that knowledge at her age of like i wish you could see me do all the things that we wanted to do and i just wanted some mac and cheese i said i wasn't gonna cry <laughs> oof mama i'm not gonna cry i have this pendant back here it's actually a picture of my mom and um, e e um, she is so right when people die that time just goes by faster. It's been four years since my mom died and it does not feel like that at all. I, mm. just hurts it hurts now when I was a little kid I was like it doesn't hurt that bad it hurts now <laughs> oh, ow uh, we're hurting that too final thoughts like seven songs I hearted out of ten seven out of ten so that's still pretty good for just an album that she has written and most of these songs she actually had some input so had some say in it um, East of Stumbling High. I understand it's a cover, I'm not a fan. But you know, maybe Miley was kind of maybe inspired, I don't know, she knew this person who, who originally sang it and was inspired by them, I don't know. But like, it didn't really seem like she was trying all that much for the song, like, you give you a At the dance, I think, um, it's, it, it shows a lot of versatility with Miley that she can actually pull out these stops of dance moves and things like that and make a song that is kind of like a party anthem. Party in the USA. Like, like, yeah. But at the same time, it's not my favorite. <laughs> I, I definitely get a Cheetah Girls vibe from it and it makes me want to fight. <laughs> Girls Night Out. Uh, oh, I just, oh, at your age. Again, I just see Chuck E. Cheese. So like, eh, boys are here. Well, yeah, you're in the same vicinity as boys. You guys can call it a girls' night out, but like at Chuck E. Cheese, a place for kids. It's boys and girls. Like, that's what that's what I see. Or maybe they're at a food court. Like, mall used to be my jam. That's where you used to hang out with your friends. Or and like they happen to be at the food court, and you're just like, it's a girls' night. Well, yeah, they're in the same vicinity as you. <laughs> um, 
I just, I have to laugh because I used to do that back in the day too. It, girl. Yeah, I'm just standing here getting a smoothie. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, let's talk about favorite songs on the soundtrack. Right here is one of my favorites. I remember listening to this song and being like, I love the flow of it. I'm right here. Like, that used to be my song. Start All Over, classic. See You Again, classic as well. Those songs really built Miley and Disney really promoted those songs. And it's interesting, again, because like so many artists and writers went into creating Hannah Montana when Miley was where it was at. Like, see you again? Like, come on now. I did feel like closer to the end of the album, it started to like, mm. Um, I did like the song material as well for lyricism. I think for her age, she was very in tune and aware of her feelings. And that, to me, is incredible. <laughs> like, most kids, when we are teenagers or pre-teens, don't even understand what the heck we're feeling. I would say best songs right here, start all over, see you again. And I would say that's it. If I was going to introduce you to this album of Meet My Desires, I would introduce you to those songs. Uh, let a girl know down in the comment section what songs did you like, what songs didn't you like. If you were going to introduce it to somebody, what songs would you say you have to play? The like button and also subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. I will see you guys later. Should, should we do East Napomblin? Northumberland, like each Northumberland, like I still can't pronounce this song. I don't know. Going out before the night passes by. I dance with the cheetah girls.